What's on Steam? Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of What's on Steam and let's hop right into the action. Uh, today's first game on the queue seems to be Empire TV Tycoon. A game for PC, Mac and Linux in which you manage a TV channel and fight for audiences taking decisions. Project your channel to fame and fortune. You will decide the content of your channel, select advertisers, hire workers, make your own productions, hire actors, comma, and it keeps going and it keeps going. Let's see. Strategy indie casual simulation, fairly positive. And it's on sale for about 10 bucks. Okay. I see a lot of menus. A lot of menus. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh Huh? This looks uh, rather dull. Hear it with some sound. And that made it worse. Not interested. Moving on. Dust! Warning, dust requires actual understanding of firearm operations. Please refer to our field manuals if you're not familiar with them. This is an excuse for we don't know how to program our game or uh... Okay. Yes. Yes. Is anything gonna happen? Anything gonna happen? Bum, 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 bum. So it's a shooter game where you have to perform a lot of unnecessary actions. Okay. With some really unfitting music. And it's an early access. And it looks like I will never play this game. Next! The Coma Cutting Class is a survival horror adventure game. You're a Duong Ho! I don't know how to pronounce Korean. A Korean high school student. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, show me gameplay. Show me gameplay. Show me gameplay. Is this a visual novel? Show me gameplay. I'm sorry, fell asleep for a second. Oh my god, this is a flash game. Wait, you're asking 10 bucks for a flash game? Ah, la 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 la, reviews, reviews. Ah, well, people seem to like it. Aim. Looks like it's not for me. I kind of like the art style, but the game seems so... It, it's like a visual novel with some form of controls in it. You can get your flashlight and talk to busty women in Korea. There's busty women in Korea now? Today I learned there's busty women in Korea. Bar. And sometimes random shit appears out of nowhere and will hit you. Yeah. And uh, moving on. There once was a hero named Hercules. Hi Hercules! Worked hard in the this looks like a cell phone game. As he sweated and plowed, dreamed a new thought that wowed. It would be better with big oxen such as these. Is this a cell phone game, isn't it? But the 
ox is not heir his to take. Goddess here are big threats she doth make. <laughs> Why? Oh, just fuck off. No, 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 just go. Else, heartbreak. Game about friendship, love, and technology in a place where bits have replaced atoms. You've been to Dorisburg? Well, not lately. Have you ever been to Dorisburg? This reminds me of a PlayStation game I once played. I think it was called Love or something. Oh, it has a day and night cycle. I'm the gardener. I'm the key maker. Yes, uh, show me some actual gameplay. Like, uh, yay, there's dialogue where you sit very still and don't do anything. Uh-huh. Hey, I'm, I'm still looking. I just want to see some gameplay. Dear trailers, put some gameplay in there, please. Uh-huh, you can walk in this game, you can talk in this game. What else? Are there puzzles? Can you fight? Oh my god. It's a programming slash hacking mini game. And that's all they're gonna show. Well, I already spent too much time on programming, I don't want to play a game about it. A beautiful adventure with heart, humor, and satisfying hacking puzzles you can enjoy, even if you don't know anything about coding. Well, not for me. Bye. Artifact Adventure! Look! It's an NES game! The music already remi reminds me of Faxanadu. Speaking about obscure NES games. Faxanadu. Uh, so much talk. So much talk, so much talk. So it looks like Final Fantasy 1, it sounds like Xanadu. But is it good? See, I used to love these types of games when I was a kid, but uh... You know, you... As technology progresses, you just keep wanting more, so does this game have a gimmick, or is it just really a retro throwback? Because it seems to be just a really retro throwback with no additionals. You, you need a gimmick nowadays. If you don't have a gimmick, it's, it's just like, why would I not just play Final Fantasy on my NES? I'm expecting a random encounter soon. Ah. Ah. Ah, the guy's name is Dutch! Winky dink. <laughs> uh, well, at least they showed gameplay. Just not interest. Yeah, no. Wait, an RPG free cell game? No, just no. <laughs> Zombie Grinder! Cross platform cooperative multiplayer on Death Fest. Okay, it's a kill everything game. It's an early access. Welcome to Gwitgwit. That was a really short trailer. Oh wait, it's not done yet. Okay. A featuring your mom. Oh. Annihilate enemies in PvE game modes. Okay. These graphics kind of remind me of uh, Paul Robertson. At least the, the sprite characters look like it. Might not be gory enough for Paul Robertson. And definitely isn't animated enough for Paul Robertson. <laughs> okay, but eh, it looks decent. Four player local. Yeah. Could be fun. What is it like? Five bucks? Uh, six bucks. See, this is, this is a game that would be perfect for the couch, and not a lot else. This is not a game you want to play on yourself, this is not a game... This might be a game you want to play online, I guess. 
but it's much more fun on local co-op. So I'm gonna add it to the card for couch properties and move on to the next game. Cat Interstellar, a story-driven science fiction game about humanity's attempt to terraform arts. Yay. Uh, is this a walkathon game? You know, one of those uh, first-person experience games instead of uh, first-person anything games. Because they're beautiful generally, but uh, they also tend to be kind of boring. Don't tell anyone I said that. Boring! Does stuff happen or is it just like you, you move? Still moving. Oh, it's an Oculus game. I don't have an Oculus. Moving on. Let the cat in! Help little kittens to get into the house. Reach their favorite basket and fall asleep. To do this, you need to arrange all the things and mechanisms inside the house for creating. What the fuck? Also, post-apocalyptic. Illuminati. Uh, no. No. Brilliant trailer, though, but, uh, no. An inventive, thought-provoking puzzle platformer. Use power-ups in each environment and your own inherent gravity-bending powers. Complete each level. The more you play, the more story details you'll uncover. Well, I'm a cube. And this is not Thomas Was Alone, so I feel like there will not be much story details going on here. It's uh, it's on sale. 98% discount. You can get it now for 19 cents, which is about what this game is probably worth. But I already have way too many games to play, so... Skipping! Let's click Anthology! Now in full 720p. March it to the real time strategy legend Blitzkrieg. Prepare for war. Wait, why are they offering me a game from 2003? That's not new. This game is, uh, is, is actually really good, as far as I'm aware, but it's, uh, it's not my type of game. I like building bases, and this is one of those games where you just have an X amount of units and X amounts of reinforcements, and you have to complete the mission with that. But hey, if, if that's your thing, definitely get this one. Um, I won't, uh, so not interested. And that's the cue for today. Hey, so if you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to stay tuned for an upcoming challenge episode. We go make a devil cry. Talk to you soon. Hope you have a good day and good night. Bye.